Has this ever happened to you when you're filling out a form that someone else created in Word? While Word forms may look good, if they don't behave well when you fill them out, they can cause frustration on the part of the form filler and perhaps even incorrect data for you. To create great forms in Word, first you'll need to add the Developer tab. On the File tab, we'll choose Options and then Customize Ribbon. Just click the checkbox next to the Developer tab. It should be the only one unchecked if it's not already added to your ribbon. You won't need most of what's here. We're just going to be using some of the buttons in the Controls group. On the Insert tab, I'm going to choose Table and then Convert Text to Table. That gets our data in a more organized uh, format. It's a little easier to work with in a table. Now we can start putting in our form fields. On the Developer tab, in the Controls group, click on the Plain Text Control. That's this one here. If you choose the other text button, Rich Text Control, it'll allow form fillers to use bold, italic, color, whatever, to format their entries. If that's what you want, you can certainly use it. Most of our form fields will work fine with this type of text control. Now, click on Design Mode to change the default instructions. After adding each field, click on Properties and then name the field. If you know how to use XML data, these tags can be used in XML schemas to process the data programmatically. Whether or not that's your intention, having the tag names can make your forms easier to decipher in Design Mode. You can see the tags disappear when I click Design Mode Off. And we'll just put that back on here. I'm just clicking inside the default instructions to put in my own. You have to be in design mode to do this. You can also use legacy form tools to get more control. We'll do that here for the zip code to limit the number of digits and get it formatted properly. We'll use a drop-down list control here to select the member type. and use the properties to identify these selections. We'll just click Add for each one we want to have. You could also put a checkbox control here too. Now let's add a date picker for the submission date. and we're done adding our fields. We want people to fill this out and then print it and sign it. So make this row a little taller and remove all the border lines. We'll just add the bottom ones back here. And here too. So let's take this out of design mode and see what we have. There's one more step to making this form easier to use. On the Review tab, we'll choose Restrict Editing. Then we'll just click this box and tell Word to only allow filling in forms. And then we'll click here to start enforcing protection. You can choose to give it a password or not, that's up to you. This is what will send people to fill out. 
so just basically type and tab. Some legacy form fields might not tab well, so they may need to click into them. From a protected form, if you want to capture the data, you can copy and paste it to another application like Excel. If we paste transpose, or paste special transpose, we can collect this data in columns. It's a little bit of work out front and a lot less time in the data for them and you.